Hi, I'm Chad from Chad DIY, and today we are gonna design a simple Christmas ornament in the Xtool Creative Space software. So let's get started. All right, we'll open Xtool Creative Space up. All right, so I already have my F1. I haven't had it, I don't have it connected quite yet, but that's the laser cutter that's in the system right now. So what we're gonna start doing is just make a basic circle. There's a few different ways to do that. You can go to the circle thing. So try that first. That actually you have to drag with the mouse now, if you hold the shift key, that makes a perfect circle. If you let go of the shift key, then you're kind of have an oval or whatever. So we'll do the shift key. And the ornament, let's make it three and a half inches. So we'll go over there, go up here, and see how this is locked in place. That means both sides is gonna be, or the whole thing's gonna be three and a half inches. And so we can kind of center it up here. So that is our first one. And we'll, let's go make a circle a different way. We can go to shapes. And here's some basic shapes. So here's the circle. Now if you go this way, it automatically is gonna be a perfect circle. You don't have to hold the shift key or anything. So we have that. Let's make that so the outer layer is three and a half. Let's make this three and a quarter. And we can kinda kind of square it, square it up there. There's kind of some fine adjustments. Now usually I use a mouse, but when you want to make some real fine adjustments, I just use the arrow key. So you can, if you can see I'm arrowing down there, I'm arrowing up. So it, it does a, a nice job of kind of aligning it, but if you want to get a little bit more precision there, you can use those arrow keys. All right, so now we kind of have a basic circle like that. Now, if you're gonna hit a gray, that's how I like to test it out, that's not what we want. So we want these to be a border. So we wanna take that one, we wanna stick it to the front. And this can get a little complicated what ones you want in the, in the front or the back or whatever. But this smaller one here, let's bring to the front. Let's kind of select everything and then subtract, add overlap. And now let's test it out. Engrave, that's exactly what we want. So we kind of got our basic, basic uh, outline there. So the next thing I'm gonna do for this ornament at least is I wanna do kind of a rectangle going across. Cause that's gonna, I'm kind of making this as a template with a rectangle going across so you can just add out different names. Um, another way to do it is actually just if you want to put whatever name going across in like a cursive font, you could do that. But for this example, we're going to do, um, going to do that rectangle box. So we'll go to shape. Well, let's, um, let's just do a basic rectangle up here. And I'm just going to hold down, scroll over with the mouse. And yeah, roughly there. Now I can kind of, yeah, center it up. It gives you those outlines. And now each step along this way, I, I'm going to kind of overlap and save it, I guess, if you will, or combine it. So this is not what I want it to look like. I want it to be combined. So once again, I'm going to select everything and let's unite this and see. Yep. All right. That's what I wanted. Now, there, it can get a little confusing with combining, whether you want to unite or subtract or whatever. But and. I like to kind of just throw that engraving to see what it, it kind of looks like. So that's, that is what we want here. Next, which is really nice about this uh, Xtool Creative Space software is they have all these different shapes now. I feel like they've kind of added them over the years. Now we're gonna go to, they got plants, animals. We're gonna go to festival, got some Halloween stuff, but let's get some snowflakes here. So there's, yeah. There's some varieties of snowflakes we can use. Let's, uh, let's just try that one to start with. And now I'm gonna kind of resize this. I'm gonna kind of want it off to the side there. Now, if you hit control in the scroll wheel, you can zoom in, you can zoom in and out. So we'll get a little bit more precise there. I'm gonna make that a little smaller. I'm gonna kind of arrow it down and what I'm kind of looking for here is I want different places where it's going to overlap. So this is all going to get cut out. So you want a little strength. You still want to be able to see the whole snowflake detail, but 
So this is gonna be overlap pretty nicely there. So that's gonna hold here, here, three different points to overlap. So I think that's, I think that's pretty good. And now each step along the way, before I get too carried away, I wanna un unite all these pieces. So I'll kinda of scroll in there. So once again, I'm just gonna select everything. Um, can try that again. I was a little too zoomed in. Select everything, and let's go to Unite. Okay, and that's, so that's all. Let's hit that engrave again. Yep. So that's all put together. Now we're, I kinda wanna do the exact same thing down here. Let's use that same snowflake again. So that was just in our shapes. All right, let's, let's drag that down. Gonna kind of resize it. Sometimes I think if it's a little smaller, a little different size, kind of looks nice. Uh, you kind of have to size it in a way where it's, to me, I always want probably like those three points of contact. So it's not really fragile when it's all cut out. So that looks pretty good. Overlap pretty good. All right, once again, just gonna keep going to that. Combine, unite, and there we go. And now let's maybe do a couple more snowflakes, maybe maybe different shape, snow, a different shaped one. Um, so let's try to use that one already. I can, Yeah, that's a different one. All right, so I'm gonna drag that one down. Let's make this a little bit bigger maybe. And once again, trying to get to those three points of contact there. I'm just gonna use my arrow keys, kind of line that up. You don't want, say, this edge sticking out because then it'll, you won't have that perfect circle, but Let's go with that, go through the steps, go to Unite. All right, and maybe we'll do that same one again up here. This is kind of just fun playing around with it. Uh, you can kind of do it however you want, whatever you think looks best. But in some of these snowflakes, they would be better for engraving than actual cutting. Um, so I'm kind of doing ones that aren't gonna get kind of messed up where it's, once it's cut out, it's not gonna look right. All right, we'll just adjust that with that arrows, fine tuning. All right. And see, this is kinda, I don't really like how this is connected because I feel like it's gonna get kind of blurry. I want a little bit of gap there. So you can kind of see the, the details of the snowflake. So once again, we unite. All right, so then we kind of have our, you know, got some snowflakes, got our basic shape. Now we want, probably a little, put a little circle on the top here for where, I don't know if you want to put some twine or whatever in there. So let's go to, I usually go to shape instead of just grabbing that circle just because it's our, it just kind of makes a perfect circle there. Now, I don't know what it is about Xtool Create. One issue I've always had is if you look at the size of the circle here, say I want it 0 0.4 inches. You go up to here. I, I'm trying to hit the dot. I'm trying to hit the point. It will not work. I, I don't know why it's like that. It will only let you do a four, which I don't want a four, that's way too big. So what you need to do, what I found is you have to make it small enough where there's already a decimal point there. So once that's there, then you can kind of change this out. Let's go with the four. Yeah, it's not even two, maybe too big. Let's go three, five. And let's put it on the top, and then I'm just gonna kinda arrow it down there. All right, once again, we'll, here, I'm gonna 
I'll use that control, make that a little smaller so I can see the whole thing. And let's unite again. Okay. Let's, uh, we haven't checked this for a while. All right, that's looking good. So the last thing we want to do is just make a little circle inside a circle. So once again, I don't know. Most people just grab that circle. I don't know why I always kind of take the extra steps and go on that route, but can't get that out of the way. So the other one is 0.35, I believe. Let's go 0.2, uh, even maybe 0.175. And sometimes as you get in here, it doesn't, the mouse, you really have to start using those arrows to kind of, kind of line it up there. All right, let's try that. Uh, I want to make sure I get everything selected. Night. All right, so you see that disappeared there. Um, so when that happens, I guess you, you get on that undo button. There's still some, to me, that I don't, I'm not even exactly sure Experts at this would probably know what ha why that happened, but let's try. Let's try one more thing here with that. Let's try bring that to front. Let's select it all. This is how we did it originally, and we want to subtract overlap. I think that did it. Yep. Okay. So I don't know. So. I'm still kind of playing around with the software, but as you see there, sometimes you have to bring that to the front, subtract overlap. But the snowflakes seem fine, so just do whatever works for you, I guess. That's kind of what I do. And when in doubt, you can always hit that undo button, and you can just kind of start where, where you were before. All right, so now this is, I mean, this is our ornament, basically. So now we just need to add a name. So that, that's why I kind of like to leave this rectangle going across because you can kind of just save this template if you want. And then I'm using the F1 to cut this out, which is their portable laser cutter. So say you're at a craft or whatever, you could have this all loaded up and then all you'd have to do um, is go this next step. So you could even set this to cut. We're going to go 100% power. We'll go down to, this is a 10 watt laser. So let's go maybe four there. But now we're just going to add, add the name. So let's do, I'm just going to do my Chad DIY. Let's capitalize that. Chad DIY for my YouTube channel. And we're just going to kind of scroll it down. It kind of centers it for you if you want. Now there's a lot of different um, scripts you could do. Yeah, I don't know. You can download different ones. So I don't know what this is this is definitely a definitely a preference thing. We want to do it's kind of fun to actually see the different ones. This is a pretty basic one though. So let's let's center that up. And so now and we'll have that now I could have that engraved and this cut. I think we'll just maybe cut everything out. So now I kind of have that. I like to just group everything together. And once you group everything together, now when you when you drag it, it's all it's all grouped. It's all together. So we can kind of just center that up. Now I want everything to cut. So let's go to yeah. We got the blue light. And our speed. All right, so that's so we're not even connected yet here to the F1, but that's that's kind of how I mean, I'm pretty pleased with that. And right now, so I kind of have it all saved with that name in there, but I could undo that, I could save that template, and then you could just use that ornament and keep putting different names out. But 
Now that we are at this point, I guess let's get that F1 set up and we'll cut out this ornament. All right, so I got my ornament cut. Now, totally a rookie mistake. I didn't notice when I'm cutting out the name, the two Ds have the center that are gonna get cut out as well. So you can't really do it like that. The way you do an ornament like this, I suppose if you cut it out, is you'd have a two-piece ornament. So you have a backer plate, and then you could kind of glue in the center of the Ds. I actually, so this one I did in the F1, took about 12 minutes to do everything. I want to try one where I engrave the name. So I engraved it right there, the Chad DIY. This I did on the X-Tool P2, the CO2 lasers. This took about two and a half minutes, or maybe not even that long. So a huge difference, 12 minutes, two and a half minutes on the P2 laser, but there is kind of apples to oranges comparison, because uh, this one's a portable, this one's really not designed to cut things at speed. So take that for what you will. Now, if you do have any questions on this ornament making process and the design or the machine themselves, please leave them in that comment section below. I try really hard to always get back to people when they comment. And also, if you're in the market for purchasing an X-Tool machine, I do provide my affiliate link. It really helps if you're gonna buy a machine to use that affiliate link. It doesn't cost you any more, it actually costs you less because I uh, will include a coupon code so you can save some money. So win-win, really appreciate that. So yes, as always, I'm Chad from Chad DIY and we'll see you on the next one.